In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down the best settings to use in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my YouTube channel, my channel is designed to help you improve and take your game to the next level in Madden 21. If that's something that interests you, what I want to encourage you to do right now is check my description below and join my Discord. My Discord is my community. It's the best possible place to get better at Madden. You're going to be able to set up money games, lab games. There's a saying that goes, you are the average of the five people you associate with most. I believe that is so true in Madden. And if you want to have a better community, want to get around better people, jump in the Discord. All right, so settings. This is really, really important, especially if you're gonna have the best user control in Madden. So I'm gonna show you my settings right here. You're just gonna go right in here to settings. These are the best settings to use once you get the game. Uh, for me personally, we're gonna go into game options here. You can set your playbook. So what I like to do is I like to set my Arizona offensive playbook and my 4-6 defensive playbook. If you wanna pick up my competitive bundle guide, it has both of these eBooks in it right now. It's on sale for 25 bucks. You can pick that up in the description below. There's a link right there to pick that up. Uh, I like to turn NFL Live playbooks on. Skill level, always play on all Madden. Always play on all Madden. It's really important because those are the settings that competitive Madden is on. You want to be playing on those settings because it's going to, the game does play different based on if you're on all pro or all on Madden. Game side, like competitive, quarter link, four minutes. Coin toss, first choice. You always want this on kick. If you're going to be better at Madden, this is a critical, critical tip. It is. It is crucial when playing this game to make sure you're on kick, right? Because it's going to give you the ball when it matters most. In the second half, you're going to be able to do the New England Patriots double up at the end of the half. That is absolutely critical and essential. Gameplay helpers, auto flip defensive play call. I turn this off, and the reason I turn this off is because it changes my plays. I don't really like that, so I'm gonna leave this off. Some people like it on, but it's all about your scheme for my stuff, and what I recommend, I always turn this off. Defensive ball hawk, I turn this on, but I use this very, very carefully. Basically what happens is when I uh, hold catch, it's gonna hold him into the catch animation. So uh, I always leave ball hawk on. You, you don't, uh, as you see here, if you disable it, it causes the user defender to attack the ball in the air less aggressively. Defensive heat sinker assists. User controlled defenders are steered the ball carrier when attempting to run or dive into them. Um, you can turn this on. I actually do like to turn this on. Defensive switch assist. When a user switches players to another defender, user movement will be assisted to prevent them from taking their new player out of the play. I actually like that as well. Some people like these off. You can put both of these mechanics on the game. It actually helps a lot this year with the way the game plays. In your some years past, you would turn these off. I'm going to recommend that you turn them on this year just because of the mechanics of the game and the way the game plays. Those is my uh, settings right here. Now, if you want the best optimal user control, maybe you're an advanced player and you want to have absolute control over everything, you might want to turn all three of these off. But in my personal opinion, it's actually best this year to leave them all on because when you leave them on, the computer is actually going to help you as opposed to hurt you, at least in theory. And I've seen it play out a lot. So I talk a lot about being patient with your user click on. This is one of those reasons. And then player sliders are whatever. But those are my defensive or my uh, settings for Madden NFL 21. What are your favorite settings? What are your recommendations? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to continue the conversation, getting better in Madden 21, there are going to be some videos that are going to come up on the screen right about now that you can check out. I also want to invite you. I live stream Madden 21 every single night at 10 p.m. Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. You can find a link to tonight's live stream in the description below, but we will see you guys tonight at 10 o'clock eastern time on the channel jump in the discord if you haven't already it's a great place to get better at the game